Hello everybody, it's Aris Salahi is here. Aris Salahi is here and today video is about speed sculpting of Pikachu character in ZBrush. Uh, I start most of my characters with the sphere and extruded that uh, remaining part of the body using masking and then 3D at Gizmo. Then I used move brush with a bit big size to uh, form uh, to create the forms and uh, basically shape the silhouettes uh, based on the references that they have and um, if I need to uh, extrude any other parts like uh, foot uh, like this I take care of that then I add eyeballs as a separate mesh and uh, I use the Z plugin uh, subtool master to uh, mirror it uh, the eyeball to the other side to make uh, two eyeballs on both sides uh, the same technique, masking, 3D gizmo, and extruding, and move brush. This is the commenting for the first phase, and then gradually I increase the resolution of the uh, dynamic that I have. And in this phase, I use clay buildup and uh, standard brush to uh, make the secondary forms. And constantly I'm looking at my model from different angles to make sure that everything is okay from different angles it looks good from different I mm, don't just start to uh, sculpt from one angle and rely on that I try to make nice smooth transition between the cheek and the muzzle and a little bit tweaking the head to make a proper proportion again the brushes that I am using is just clay build up and move in this phase using clay build up to make more definition for the uh, area that arm uh, comes out of the body And for this kind of cartoony characters, you need to make sure you have a smooth surface uh, it's because these kind of characters are cute and you shouldn't have any sudden indentation and uh, you need to uh, again look at from your mother from different angles to make sure that everything is smooth and nice. And the material that I have uh, for my characters are basic material in ZBrush which uh, they react to the uh, lighting conditions and I can see uh, the basically the flaws and what part it works and what uh, part doesn't work. Uh, here I'm using damage standard brush and also edge polish for the bottom of the feet to make it flat and damage standard to make it the definition and masking to not affect the other parts. A little bit bump for the knee area although this character is a little bit chubby but I recovered from a crash sorry <laughs> and again the same technique as before masking 3d uh, gizmo and extruding the uh, fingers after that I use them standard to make a definition between them and move brush to, to make that make them pointy and sharp. Filling the gaps, as I mentioned, these cartoony characters should be uh, very nice and smooth. Then is standard again to make a definition for the feet, creating the toes, and looking from different angles to make sure everything is working from different angles, not just one angle. And the challenging part of this character was uh, his tail.
there are other approaches that you can use it for making the tail easier for example just by box modeling but because I started as a dynamesh I wanted to continue and show you guys the techniques that I use if I don't have any other choice and I just want to use dynamesh and the brushes in ZBrush and my, my model is pretty dense so I use the H polish uh, H polish is a great brush to make the planes uh, as you see immediately with the stroke uh, with the drawing some strokes you can get uh, flat areas based on the concept of this character's tail and following the planes and if you are using the H polish you hold alt it's instead of then basically subtracting it adding luck like here if you see some, some uh, places of your model is very narrow and you need to add thickness to that but you want to keep them flat just hold alt and use the H polish brush so it helps you to add uh, a little bit thickness to that and later you can come back with your, um, without holding alt and flatten out that part and I use also clip curve brush uh, clip curve brush is uh, good for making again the sharp corners and sharp edges too uh, these two two brushes usually I use them for uh, hard surface modeling too some kind of this tail is uh, I consider it as a hard surface because it has a sharp edges and sharp corners so just using move brush and edge polish in this phase and sometimes in clip curve brush For the stylized characters, uh, even though they are stylized, you need to have a uh, good knowledge of anatomy. So if you have a good knowledge of anatomy, you can make the anatomy stylized and see underneath of your character what's going on. So your character will be more believable. Right now, I'm starting to remesh this character using ZBrush in Z and you see I'm painting here because I want to have more resolution in these areas. Use they use poly paint and is underneath of the zebra and zero measure uh, palette. And when I'm see it right now, the tail is was missing. Why? Because the symmetry was on. Uh, and after I turned off the symmetry, uh, it's, um, I had the tail, uh, and also projected from and uh, detail from the high uh, poly mesh to the mesh that I already did. Uh, create a low resolution mesh for that and after that applying color and changing the material to a uh, skin material because it gives me a nicer color when I was I wanted to start to paint masking and after that using that standard brush in RGB mode and turning off the Z add mode to start to paint uh, when I'm painting usually it's, uh, it's I turn on this lazy mouse too to have more control on my painting. And the option that you can use for uh, basically picking colors in ZBrush is C. When you hit C, and you hover over on the color that you want and hit C, uh, ZBrush automatically choose the color that your cursor is on that color. Adding color variation based on the concept. And the eye highlights. I add a little bit black color here to basically mimic the shadow, the ambient occlusion, some kind of there for the lips. The side pattern I use the uh, it's basically it's a circle mask. There is an option when you are masking, uh, it's, you can use circle mask, it can give you oval shape or circular shape, either of them for this is uh, for this area for this uh, basically uh, shapes here on the side. Thank you for watching and have a good day.